Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be guinea pig habits you should start getting into. I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's go ahead and get started. The very first habit you should start getting into is weighing your guinea pigs and also giving them health checks. This is super important as you need to make sure your guinea pigs are at a steady weight and not losing weight nor gaining too much weight. Health checks make sure that the guinea pigs are healthy and to make sure that they don't have any health issues. If they do have something on them or you notice something unusual about their personality or behavior, I would definitely recommend going ahead and maybe calling your vet and seeing what their opinion is. The second habit you should start getting into, or if you're not at least getting into this habit, you should, is spot cleaning your guinea pig's cage multiple times a day. Guinea pigs poop 10 to 20 poops an hour, so it's really important that you keep up with their cage. I would normally spot clean mine two to three times a day or even more. So this is super important to make sure your guinea pigs are walking on clean fleece or bedding. The third habit you should start getting into is creating a schedule. This is extremely helpful when you have other pets to care for. So you should definitely pick a day that you clean out your guinea pigs along with other pets. So you pretty much have a day to clean out your pets. So my day to clean out my pets is a Saturday. So I clean my guinea pigs on Saturday and I also clean my fish tank on Saturday. But on Tuesday, I clean them because I clean them twice a week. So a schedule also might include a day-to-day -day basis on what you feed your guinea pigs and how often you hold them and give them floor time. The fourth habit you should start getting into is when you adopt a brand new guinea pig, they are going to be scared. It's very tempting to go ahead and pick up your new guinea pig and handle them, but it's really important that you acknowledge that they are scared and they need to get used to their surroundings first before you go and handle them. Guinea pigs brought into their new homes also may be very skittish, so if you do try to pick them up and accidentally drop them, this might be very serious and they might become hurt. The fifth and final habit you should start getting into is handling your guinea pigs. This can be either through the cage and just talking to them, or during floor time, or even you just hold them on your lap. After your guinea pigs have settled in into their new home, you should be able to say handle them every single day, or at least whenever you can. This way they can get used to you quicker and become tame faster. So that is it for today's video. I really hope this video was helpful and I hope many of you do these habits because these are all very important within a guinea pig's lifespan. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!